Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. Subscribe, like, and share. Black, white, and Asian Syrians. Tomb of Egyptian High Priest Mekepri, 1045 to 922 BC. A Melano Siri, Black Syrian, and a Luko Siri, White Syrian, paying tribute to the Egyptians. Luko Siri. Luko Siri, also known as Luko Syrians or White Syrians, were an ancient people in central Anatolia, modern day Turkey. During the period of classical antiquity, they were mentioned by ancient Greek geographer and historian Strabo in 24 Christian era and his geography. Melanosiri, Black Syrians. Melanosiri, the Black Syrians. Melanosiri, definition can be found in the book, A New Classical Lexicon, Biography, Mythology, and Geography, on page 262. Black and White Syrians are indigenous people of the ancient Middle East. Shesu, the Shesu were Semitic speaking cattle nomads in the Southern Levant. History, the earliest known reference to the Shesu occurs in a 15th century BCE list of peoples in the Transjordan region. The list mentions six groups of Shesu. Shesu spies being beaten by the Egyptians. Shesu Moabites. The Shesu originally from Moab and northern Edom, Seir, went on to form one major element in the amalgam that would constitute the Israel, which later established the kingdom of Israel. In the time of David and Solomon, the Moabites and the Edomites were subject nations under Israel. Shutu, Shutu is the name given in ancient Akkadian language sources to certain nomadic groups of the Transjordian highlands, extending deep into Mesopotamia and southern Iraq. Many scholars have speculated that Shutu may be a variant of the Egyptian term Shesu, an Egyptian execration text of the 17th century BCE refers to an Ayyub, possibly a variant form of the name Job, as king of the Shutu. Some scholars have tenuously identified the Shutu as the progenitors of the Moabites and Ammonites. Shutu, progenitors of the Moabites, Shesu. Shutu, Shasu, Moabites. Here's a map. The region and location where Shutu people inhabited. This map has places identified from Egyptian execration texts from 900 BC and from 800 BC. 
Execration text. Execration texts, also referred to as proscription list, are ancient Egyptian hieratic texts listing enemies of the pharaoh, most often enemies of the Egyptian state or troublesome foreign neighbors. The texts were most often written upon statuettes of bound foreigners, bowls, or blocks of clay or stone, which were subsequently destroyed. The ceremonial process of breaking the names and burying them was intended to be a sort of sympathetic magic that would affect the persons or entities named in the text. The fragments were usually placed near tombs or ritual sites. This practice was most common during times of conflict with the Asiatic neighbors of Egypt. Ayab, a king of Moab, has been identified on a Egyptian execration text. Transjordan in the Bible Transjordan is an area of land in the southern Levant lying east of the Jordan River Valley. Other Transjordian nations, according to the Hebrew Bible, Ammon and Moab were nations that occupied parts of Transjordan in ancient times. Battle of Kadesh The Battle of Kadesh, or Battle of Kadash, took place between the forces of the New Kingdom of Egypt under Ramesses II and the Hittite Empire under Muwatali II at the city of Kadesh on the Arantis River just upstream of Lake Homs near the modern Lebanon-Syria border. Egypt, 1200 B.C. Shasu, Moabite. To whom then are we to make a present of Egypt? If the Tartars were not there, we would have to invent them. They come from the east and in a strange manner riding on horses they are the Shasu a powerful horse tribe in the earliest times ranges India and Asia from the banks of the Ganges to the Caspian their name is Shasa who those Shasa or Shasu were and whence they came may be open to question. That quote came from the book, The Pacific and the Amor, Naval Military Diplomatic Operations, from 1855 to 1861, page 47. Shasu came from the east, from the land of Moab, Transjordan, and became the Tartars, Mongols, and Chinese. Moab, Moab, is the name of an ancient Levantine kingdom whose territory is today located in the modern state of Jordan. The land is mountainous and lies alongside much of the eastern shore of the Dead Sea. The existence of the kingdom of Moab is attested by numerous archaeological findings, most notable the Misha Stele which describes the Moabite victory over an unnamed son of King Omri of Israel, an episode also noted in 2 Kings chapter 3. History, see also Shutu and Shasu.
Jeremiah 48, New Living Translation. A message about Moab. This message was given concerning Moab. This is what the Lord of Heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. What sorrow awaits the city of Nebo? It will soon lie in ruins. The city of Kariathema will be humiliated and captured. The fortress will be humiliated and broken down. No one will ever brag about Moab again, for in Heshbon, there's a plot to destroy her. Come, they say, we will cut her off from being a nation. The town of Madman, too, will be silenced. The swore will follow you there. Listen to the cries from Horanum. Cries of devastation and great destruction. All Moab is destroyed. Her little ones will cry out. Her refugees weep bitterly. Climbing the slopes to Luhith. They cry out in terror. Descending the slope to Horanum. Flee for your lives. Hide in the wilderness. Because you have trusted in your wealth and skill. You will be taken captive. Your God, Kimash, with his priests and officials, will be hauled off to distant lands. All the towns will be destroyed, and no one will escape, either on the plateaus or in the valleys, for the Lord has spoken. Moab paid tribute to Tiglath Pileser III after his invasion of the West Semitic tribes, 733 to 732 BC, and to Sennacherib, 701 BC. It disappeared as a political power when Nebuchadnezzar, 605 to 562 BC, subjugated the country, but it continued as a race. Nabataeans, Arabs, held and developed Moab in the first two centuries BC. Harper's Bible Dictionary, page 452. And the Babylonians put an end to the Moabite kingdom. Mongol armies in Russia, the Shasu, Moabites in the 13th century, Jeremiah prophesies they will be in distant lands. The Mongol world, the Russian chronicles, the Mongols in the eyes of the Rush or Russians, these chronicle accounts describe the Mongols, Tartars, as defeating the Rus princes because of our sins. That same year in Novograd, in Sudal Chronicles, add, for our sins unknown people came. The Chronicles add, godless, Moabites called Tartars. Mongol Empire, the 13th century. Russia, 1300 AD. Shasu, Moabite. Asians are indigenous Middle Eastern people. 